I knew you'd find your way here. Eventually. Hey, what's going on all my fellow godlies and Warframe enthusiasts around the world? I'm Vance from the ever popular web series of Warframe God Builds. So I'm going to be reviewing Titania again after I played with her a little bit more and did a little bit more testing to try and push her further than what, what we did in the initial God Build series. And I have found some interesting results. There is a few combinations that you can use with Titania to really wreak havoc on in-game level enemies. So right away I'm just going to go into the build and show that I don't, I don't think anything has changed at all with this. It's really a, a relatively simple setup. But what really does this build justice is the combination of melee weapons and primary weapons. See, I am using the Sekura Penta, but it's very important that I'm using Tether Grenades because what this is going to do is when you cast your first ability, it will make enemies float, but the Tether Grenades is going to do as it is intended to do. It tethers them to the ground, therefore you can capitalize on ground finishers with the Venka Prime. And because they're rendered incapable of moving, this is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. You will shred and tear through level 145 heavies within seconds. This is stupid powerful. Now there is an alternative to Sekra Penta. The only reason why I'm really showing it is because this is a crowd favorite. It's one of those weapons that you run because it's AoE. So you can just spray and pray. You can shoot your gun and blow it up and kill many enemies in the vicinity. But there is an alternative. If you look at the Ferox, when you do the alternate fire for the Ferox, it basically does the same thing. It holds enemies in place. So what you can do with this is, of course, looking at the mods, uh, it's primarily built for damage that way if you're doing run and gun missions. It can still take out enemies uh, considerably well. It's not intended for the damage, this is totally intended to hold them still. So if you choose to run the Ferox, because uh, the Penta, the Penta will self damage you. And that's ma the main reason why you would choose the Ferox over the Penta, is because the Sekra Penta, the Tether Grenades have a certain duration that they will last. They will go off on their own. So it's very risky to get in there and tether your enemies only to melee them to have your grenade explode and kill you. So this is why I choose the Ferox in the case of it holding enemies still because I don't have to worry about self damage. I can use my first ability on them, throw this secondary fire, and capitalize on all the finisher damage from the Ferox. It's also important to note that in situations where it gets a little bit tough to handle, I am using the Prisma Shade. Now I'm primarily using the Prisma Shade because uh, A, it can return health to us via Meta Ray, and B, because if you hold still and you're using your powers, uh, Prisma Shade will keep you cloaked. So Titania is very squishy and it's very important that sometimes you just get out of battle, you just regroup and get things going in your favor. You have to retreat a lot with Titania because like I said she's squishy but uh, for the most part this is a foolproof build. I have a Riven mod for Sweeper Prime on my Prisma Shade but th that's not what matters here in this build. Obviously what matters is your ability to ground enemies and deliver punishing melee blows. So if you liked this video and enjoyed its content, then it always helps if you smash that like button, comment, share, subscribe, do everything I always encourage you to do. And until next time, this has been Vance signing out. Peace.